In Northwest news, schools in Wilson Creek closed today and more schools were running two hours late due to icy roads stemming from cold temperatures. Still, it could be colder and the Associated Press shows us just how cold it could be. Frigid dense air, known as a polar vortex, swirled around much of the U.S. Monday, bringing dangerous, even deadly, cold weather. In Indianapolis, an elderly woman was found dead behind her home. She was apparently trying to clear a walkway in temperatures that had fallen more than 10 below zero. When the body temperature starts to drop below 35 degrees, that's when it really starts to become dangerous, and that's when hypothermia uh, can really set in. Wind chill warnings stretch from Montana to Alabama. It could go as low as negative 55 in International Falls, Minnesota, negative 50 in Chicago, and negative 35 in Detroit. It's like ice cold. I mean, it's beyond cold. The Chicago Transit Authority handed out fare cards so the homeless could ride buses and trains to stay out of the cold. They've made sure all the shelters are open. There have been nobody turned away. Southern states were bracing for possible record temperatures, too. The forecast that we have coming up for Monday night is actually for 23 here. So uh, we'll end up harvesting the fruit out of the grove, but now we're concerned about the trees. Single-digit highs were expected Tuesday in Georgia and Alabama. The sub-zero temps creating treacherous driving conditions throughout the Midwest. Bob McCall, Associated Press. When the snow does fall, most Columbia Basin cities require people to clear their sidewalks. One man invented a unique way to do it and stay warm at the same time. For the millions of Americans who had to shovel snow this week, this is an answered prayer. A remote controlled snow blower, and you can run it from the comfort of your own home. I made it because, you know, I, um, I'm, I'm a nerd. Aaron Macon like says his invention started out as a lawnmower, but when the weather got cold, he realized his snow blower fit perfectly into the frame. All he has to do is start it up and walk inside. And I just like to uh, try to figure out easier ways to do things and instead of sitting around watching video games, I like to work with my hands. The snowblower works a lot like a video game. It moves around with a standard RC controller. Macon even fitted tiny chains to the tires to give it traction in the snow. And there's no risk of slipping on the ice. I'm thinking that, you know, I'll have to watch uh, maybe burning my lip on my hot cocoa when I clear my driveway. And it even stores itself. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press. And that's going to do it for us here at iFiber One News. We are two days away from the Seahawks playoff game, and we just need to say, go Hawks. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow.